and I've been making films for the big screen for a long time now. Everything is about that larger than life experience that we're intending to give the audience at the end of things. I knew I wanted to try and do it in some ways in camera. It read on the page as the most exciting sequence. And I definitely was scratching my head about how we were going to achieve it. There was a huge effort in terms of utilizing current technology in a way that hasn't been done before. This film is so complex and ambitious, I just don't think he would have been able to pull it off 10 years ago. Shit, how are we going to do this? Because he's going to want to do this for real. We all know that Chris is, you know, very big on getting everything in camera and and doing things as real as possible. I assume you're doing it until told otherwise. We shot it at the end because we knew that we would have to learn how to do all this stuff before we got to that sequence. When we arrived there, we felt ready to do that and ready to apply it to like a real big set piece. To make it sing to today's audiences, I sort of felt like for me to really engage with it, I wanted it to have bigger possibilities. I wanted to do it in a way that I was excited about. Extraordinary to uh, to set eyes upon, so you just can't recreate the elements like we had to deal with there. I remember at the end of the day, like I was dizzy and I was standing next to Nilo Otero and, <laughs> and standing next to Chris, and we called cut. And I remember Chris just kind of calmly looked over at Nilo and I. Chris goes, "That yeah, was good." <laughs> and Nilo and I just looked at each other and just sat back. And we just started laughing. I was just like, "We were coming to my hotel room that night, just collapsing." It's very much cinematic. It's something that you have to see on the screen. It's a grand scale entertainment. And for me, that was always the ambition for the film. Okay, let's do one more.